Here's a quick look at what's new in very next for 3D Studio Max. It's smarter, faster and more powerful than ever before. As a baseline, it will speed up your overall rendering by up to 25%. And with V-Ray Scene Intelligence and the new GPU rendering architecture, some scenes will render up to 7 times faster. Because the dome light is such a popular tool, we wanted to find a way to make it easier to use and faster to render. So we added the new adaptive dome light, which uses Scene Intelligence to optimize the way it samples light. It's not only faster, it's more accurate as well. And you won't need skylight portals anymore when lighting interiors. In our tests, the adaptive dome light was typically 2-7 to seven times faster than before. Also using scene intelligence, the very physical camera is back and acts like your favorite point-and-shoot camera. Exposure and white balance can now be set automatically. And getting a great looking render is as simple as taking a snapshot. With the new NVIDIA AI Denoiser, you can get the noise renders in an instant. Using artificial intelligence, it can denoise an image in less than a second, so you get real-time feedback in IPR when you're setting up lights and materials. When you're ready to render your final image, just switch over to the V-Ray Denoiser. In V-Ray Next, the GPU rendering is faster and more powerful than ever. The first thing that you will notice is that V-Ray RT is now V-Ray GPU, and with support for more of your favorite V-Ray tools, it's ready for both IPR and production rendering. The updated UI shows only the features that are compatible with GPU rendering and makes it much easier to use. V-Ray GPU also introduced a brand new multi-kernel rendering architecture that's twice as fast as before. It takes full advantage of parallel processing as well as the latest NVIDIA hardware. It also supports very fast rendering of volumetric effects like smoke, fire and fog. And V-Ray GPU now supports our library of over 600 photorealistic V-Ray scans materials. V-Ray Next adds a new physical hair shader. It's more accurate with better highlights and it's really easy to set up. With new melanin color controls, you can simply drag a slider to go from blonde to brunette or anywhere in between. For better compositing, now you can generate the noise render elements. and they can be easily put back together to match a denoised beauty pass. To measure the light levels in your scene, V-Ray Next adds an improved light meter helper. And a new lighting analysis render element. Now you can render false color heat maps and data overlays showing accurate light values from any scene. To help you make PBR materials for real-time engines like Unreal and Unity, or import them directly from applications like Substance Designer, we've added a new metalness reflection parameter right into the V-Ray material. Last but not least, we're excited to announce that V-Ray Cloud is coming soon. Our new cloud rendering service is designed to be extremely simple to use and it's built right into V-Ray. To give it a try, apply for beta access at chaosgroup.com forward slash cloud. 
or just press the new Cloud Rendering icon and vary next with 3ds Max. 